hey, I'm leaving the ministry space and going into this space. And still, I'm still have gigs at that point, like speaking at retreats, at events with hundreds of teenagers. I still have, I'm still being invited into these things. And what if I start to say, I'm going over here? And then to think about going into the mat, to that mastermind, like that was the thing. I, I took the jump. I made that leap and that's all kinds of different things all in there. But then I remember standing up in front of the group with a microphone. I was the first one to introduce myself. And the only thing that I was thinking was like, okay, how do I talk about my business? That's one thing. But the thing that was most in my mind, I have 90 seconds to say who I am. And the thing was not, not say this in my head was don't say youth pastor. Don't say youth pastor. Don't say youth pastor because I was thinking these people in this space, entrepreneurship, business, whatever it is, they're not going to respect that my entire resume was with snot nosed teenagers. Are you like, like what good is that? What I, what that, so I was terrified to talk about where I'd been to one group. And I was terrified to talk about where I was going to the other group, thinking that they I would lose their influence and their respect caught in this in-between space. And that, I think, is where a lot of people, as you were just alluding to, find themselves now. How do I move forward into a new space, leaving that behind and stepping into something unknown? It's a terrifying place to be. I'll just be honest. <laughs> we're, we're definitely going to go back to this because I, de- I want to know, like, like was what was their announcement or or not? Maybe there wasn't, but right. um, I was in that room, y'all. And Alex was the first person to go. And I, my name is Lester Logan, so I'm always in the middle of everything, right? And so <laughs> I'm so grateful. I was like, oh, thank God, I'm go first. Like, <laughs> but it's so funny the stories we tell ourselves because I remember thinking like, oh, this. I mean, like you're listening to different people in all walks of life talk about basically bragging. You're allowed to brag for 90 seconds. That's like literally what you're told to do. And I was raised like, don't brag. It's like unattractive. And so like having to overcome the thoughts of like, (laughs) it's okay to brag because they they want it. But I was like, I'm a Pilates instructor. Like who in here is going to be like, oh yeah, that girl, that's the girl who's going (laughs) to help me. You know, it's just so funny. Like the stories we tell ourselves about all the people in a room and actual, and it's so funny because I would, I would never let anyone in the room I was talking to ever let themselves think that way about who they are and what they do. But we get in these spaces. And so, um, and so, you know, I remember when I was like, okay, and now I'm going to announce that I'm a business coach to Pilates instructors. I remember thinking people are going to be like, what you've been teaching for two years, girl, like no way. Like, who are you to do this? And I got to a place where I was so frustrated with, um, not making the change that I needed to see that I just mm-hmm. like announced it. And I'm, I'm one of those people who's like, <laughs> who kind of like will announce things and then like run off and just see what happens later. Like, <laughs> did it catch on fire? Like, how are we doing? Um, but I would love to, I would love to hear like, you know, you're in this space of like, I'm not telling this group yeah. like what I'm doing now. I'm not telling this group what I was doing. When did you tell all the groups <laughs> what they right? need to hear? Yeah. So let's say, I mean, just put a, a timeline to it. That was uh September, I think, 2019, when even just signing up for that mastermind was me being it, right? Being it till I see it. That's that. That was it. I was like, all right, well, I'm going for it. Here we go. I don't know what this is. All I know is that I can't take my business, whatever this is, to the next level, to any level <laughs> without somebody guiding me along the way. Let's get into a room with 50 other people and see what happens. But you step in that space. Everybody looks perfect. I don't belong there. All these th- thoughts through my head. Don't say you're a youth pastor. Nobody will respect that. Um, just go up and talk about what you do and then get the facts and get out of there. That's what was going on in my head. Mr. Confidence. Mr. Like guy who has shown up in every room that he stepped into in a ministry setting and is the one leading the way essentially. And now I show up in this setting in this new group with these new people. And I'm going in thinking ah, like, I'm going to be the one who, who brings something today. I'm going to be the one who helps people today. And immediately I felt so small. Yeah. And so that smallness is what I said when, you know, I get up to the microphone. And I said that I share my intro. Eventually I did say, yeah, so my business is Gen Z matters. It's helping organizations work with the next generation. And then I remember pausing and then filling the gap with, 
I'm an expert in this because I've been a youth pastor for 15 years and my mouth kept going, but my foot was kicking myself. Like, <laughs> yes, I was so, oh man, I was so frustrated with myself at that point. But the cat was out of the bag. That was it. It just sort of happened. And what came after that is what was important because then I sat down. People were like, great, good job. Good to meet you. All that stuff. I think it was the next session. Actually, you and I were at the same table together. And you said something to me, Leslie, that I still have in my notebook. You said, you are a badass. When you got up there and grabbed that mic, you knew your shit. We could see that. You had so much passion. We need more of it. And so I took that and went, whoa. Uh, so all these gifts that I thought were only valuable of speaking, of all these things that I had not been affirmed of yet, were immediately being affirmed in this new environment. And that sparked something else inside me that like relit this flame to say, holy crap, this is possible. And then later that night, I had dinner with some people and they said, you, you realize that your story, you being a youth worker for 15 years, that is your superpower. You've had weekly speaking experiences, speaking opportunities. There's worldwide keynote speakers that haven't spoken to a crowd as many times as you have, Alex. You got to lead with that. And so that's, that started to open me up and go, holy crap. Okay. So whatever doubts I had about sharing with this new group were very quickly extinguished. Because it was the right group, because they're nice people and most people will respond that way. <laughs> That's what I'm finding. Do you know what I mean? 